Foreign Service Institute Swedish Basic Course A Guide to Swedish Pronunciation Page 2 Welcome to Swedish Many sounds in the Swedish language are similar to sounds used in English. A few sounds used in Swedish do not exist in English. We will be more concerned with sounds than with spelling, although sometimes the latter has to come in. Let's begin by looking at and listening to the Swedish alphabet, which has 29 letters. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z O Ä Ö When we discuss Swedish sounds in this chapter, we refer to the sounds in this alphabet. Remember this order of letters, especially when you're looking up a name in the phone book or a word in a dictionary. O, Ä, Ö are last. Swedish vowels. Let's begin by taking a look and listening to the Swedish vowels. Repeat them after the tape. A O U O E I U Ä Ö Learn them in these groups. A, O, U, O E, I, U, Ä, Ö A, O, U, O are called hard vowels. E, I, U, Ä, Ö soft vowels. These vowels can be pronounced long or short. For example, listen to the different lengths of the vowel sound in these Swedish word pairs. Long, dog, short, dug, väg, vägg, vila, villa, för, för. Can you hear the difference in the vowel length? When Swedish vowels are long, they are very long. No matter how much you think you exaggerate their length, they cannot be too long. There are no diphthongs in Swedish. If one vowel letter follows another, each one is pronounced separately. This happens in certain English words, too. For example, cooperation, reiterate, etc. All vowel letters are pronounced. There are no silent vowel letters. Let's learn and practice long, short vowel differences in Swedish words. The purpose here is to learn to pronounce Swedish, not to learn to spell and not to learn vocabulary. The translation furnished is just for your information. Listen to the tape and read the words. Close your mind to everything around you and pay close attention to the way the voice on the tape pronounces the words. Try to imitate the speaker. If you are studying alone, have a mirror handy. We'll tell you when you need it. 
hard vowels. A, U, I, O. A. The long A in Swedish resembles the long A in English. For example, father, hard, barn. Boston pronunciation discouraged. Just make it longer. Long A. Glass. Stad. Dog. Vad. Mat. Ta. Talk. Lot. Ska, har. The short Swedish A is somewhat similar to the vowel in the English words kat, not. Listen carefully to the pronunciation of short Swedish A in the tape and repeat after it. Short A. Glass. Vatten. Dag. Kaffe. Matt. Han. Tack. Kan. Hade. Hall. Now we will give you one word with a long A and one with a short A. Listen to the difference in the vowel and imitate it. Long A. Glass. Short A. Glass. Dog. Dug. Mat. Mat. Talk. Tack. Hall, hall, tall, tall. O. The long O is close to the English vowel in troop and tomb. Here are some words with long O. Try to make them very long. Long O. Krona, sol, bo, stor, bok, fot, bror, god. Ro, mot. The short Swedish O has the same quality as the long O, but it is shorter. Listen to the words with a short O and repeat after the tape. Short O. Hun, muster, ost. Hotel, und, bomull, fort, bonde, tom, kort. Now we will practice a long and a short O so you can hear and learn the difference. Long O. Krona. Short O. Hun. Bok. Ost. Bror. Fort. God. Tom. Ro. Kort. Iv. The Swedish long yv 
does not exist in English. Now you can get out your mirror and use it while you do the following. Listen to the English word you. Now say it very slowly and watch what your lips do at the end of it. Keep your lips in this position. Now we'll make a little change. By dropping the y in the beginning of you and emphasizing the w at the end. Is. 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 Now we'll practice words with a long is. Long is. Through. Kill. Ut. Sur. Nu. Mus. Hur. Tur. Hus. Brun. The short U sound has a different quality. This time you don't need your mirror. Say the English word sugar after the tape. Sugar. 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 If you say it quickly, the U will be very close to the Swedish short U. Now listen to this Swedish word. Ugla. Now we'll practice some other Swedish words with short U. Short U. Frukt. Upp. Brunn. Lunch. Under. Bus. Luft. Tun. Rum. Mun. Now we'll say a word with a long U and one with a short U. Look in the mirror and see what your mouth does. Long U. Fru. Short U. Frukt. Brun. Brun. Ut. Upp. Nu. Under. Hus. Buss. O. Long O is similar to the English vowel sound in for, sore, more, but much longer. Here are some of the words with a long O. Long O. Or. Mone. Sto. Mål. Gå, tråd, båt, tåg, hål, våt. The short O is very similar to the vowel sound in the English words song, long, and wrong, but shorter. Short O. Gong, mot, long, moste, song, onga, holla, older, monga, ongra. Now we'll say one word with a long O and then one with a short O. Listen and try to hear the difference in length. Long O. Go. Short O. Gong. Or. 
song, hål, hålla, måne, många, båt, mått. Remember that the Swedish name of this letter is O. The same sounds, both the long O and the short O sound, are sometimes spelled with an O. The long O sound spelled with an O is unusual, but the short O sound spelled with an O is rather common. Long O sound spelled with an O. Son, call, telefon, mikrofon. Short O sound spelled with an O. Om, som, kopp, komma, kosta. The vowels you have just practiced, a, o, u, o, are the hard vowels. We will now continue with the other group of vowels, the soft vowels. Soft vowels, e, i, u, e, u, e. Long e is a pure vowel. It's not the same as the vowel sound in say, day, gray, etc. Listen to the tape. E, 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 e. Now we'll practice the long e sound in some words. Be sure to make it very long. Long e. C. Ben. Mer. Sen. T. Ren. Paket. Brev, heta, det. The short e sound is almost the same as the vowel sound in the English words rest, best, rent, send, but shorter. Let's listen to and repeat this short vowel sound in some Swedish words. Short e. N. Hem. Fem. Men. Et. Hetta. Vem. Den. Mest. Igen. Now we'll say one word with a long e and one word with a short e. Long e. Det. Short e. Den. Mer. Men. Ben. En. Sen. Hem. Heta. Hetta. I. The Swedish i is similar to the vowel sound in the English words teak, seed, leave, etc. Listen. E. 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 For the long e, be sure to make it very long. Long e. I, tiga, vin, 
hit, fin, vila, vis, dit, bil, bit. The short Swedish i sound is similar in quality to long i, but much, much shorter. Listen to the short e sound in some Swedish words and repeat them. Short e. Vin. Hitta. Fin. Flicka. Vis. Min. Tigga. Din. Villa, Timme. Now let's listen to one word with a long E and then one word with a short E. Long E. Vin. Short E. Vin. Fin. Fin. Vis. Vis, tiga, tigga, vila, villa. I. The Swedish i is always a vowel. It is most easily produced if you whisper a long Swedish i. Remember i. Push out your lips, making a square mouth, and use your voice. Look in the mirror and try it. Exaggerate all you want in the beginning. E. 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 Now we'll practice the long E sound in some words. Long E. C. Ni. Tig. Ita. Fira. Bi. Hira. Flita. Bita. Risa. The short E sound is very similar to the long one, except for being much shorter. Short E. Sund. Nys. Trygg. Flytta. Bytta. Mycket. Tycka, syster, lyssna, lyfta. Now we'll alternate long and short e sounds. Long e, c. Si. Short e, synd. Ni, nys. Tyg, trygg, byta, bytta, flyta, flytta. Ä. The long vowel ä before r is similar to the vowel sound in the English words fair, bear, hair, care etc. Be sure to open your mouth when you say a. Eh. Always refer to this letter as a. Eh. If the long a eh is not followed by an r, it sounds like the vowel sound in the English words well, bet, wet, etc. But remember to make it very long. Listen carefully to the words with the long a. Eh and you will hear how the a followed by an r differs 
from other situations. Long a. Här. Väg. Där. Väl. Bär. Läsa. Järn. Näsa. Lära. Tävla. You can hear how much broader and more open the ä sound is if it's followed by an r. Take the word järnväg, railroad, where you have an example of both types of long ä. Say it. Järnväg. 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 The short ä is also broad and open before an r. It is similar to the first vowel sound in the English words carry, marry, etc. Before other consonants, it sounds just like the short Swedish e sound. Eth, meth, hem. Now listen to the short ä sound and note the difference between the ä followed by an r and the ä followed by other consonants. Short ä. R. Vägg. Färja. Kväll. Värre. Vän. Märka. Bäst. Ärm. Nästa. Now we'll read the words with long ä and alternate with words with short ä. Try to work on the long ä that is not followed by an r since you're not used to making this sound long in English. Long ä. Här. Short ä. R. Järn. Ärm. Näsa. Nästa. Väg. Vägg. Väl. Kväll. Ö. The last Swedish vowel, and also the last letter in the Swedish alphabet, is ö. To pronounce this sound, you can use your mirror again. First, whisper a long E. Hold this for a long time and then round your lips. When your lips are rounded, you're almost ready to kiss someone, start using your voice and you will hear a nice Swedish E. Like this. E. 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 As was the case with the ä before r, the ü sound is broader and more open before an r. It is very similar to the English sound in fur, purr, burn. Elsewhere it's rather tense, very much like the name of the letter ü. Let's practice the long ü sound in some words. Long e. För. Söt. Höra. Bröd. Köra. Nöt. Störa. Öga. Öra. Lön. The short ü before r sounds like the long ü before r, only shorter. When not followed by an r, it is similar to, but shorter than its long counterpart. Listen to the words with the short ü sound. Short ü. Förr. Lön. Börja. Nöt. 
dörr, mjölk, större, fönster, mörk, höst. Now we'll alternate words with long e and short e. Long e. För. Short e. För. Störa. Större. Nöt. Nött. Lön. Lön. Öga. Höst. You may have noticed from all the words listed in the foregoing practices that vowel letters are usually pronounced short when followed by two consonant letters and long when followed by one consonant letter. One syllable M and N are often exceptions. Examples. Man, han, hun, kan, fem, hem, som. To sum up the most important things you need to know about Swedish vowels. One, long vowels are very long. Two, is requires your lips in a oo position. Three, e, start whispering a long e and make a square mouth and only then use your voice. Four, e. Start whispering a long e, round your lips, and only then use your voice. A guide to Swedish pronunciation will continue on tape two. <laughs>